it in here, sitting out on my porch, having my coffee this morning with old Yiggs over there. Can't reach it. Anyhow, it's going to rain today, so I need to get a couple things done pretty quick. I decided to make myself a little greenhouse. These plants are all the ones I planted the other day. Over here, I've got, those are cucumbers. They came in the little tiny packets that a subscriber sent to me. Uh, these are cayenne peppers from seeds that I preserved from my crop last year. Um, that's what these are too. And these are cayenne peppers that were sent in the little seed packets. And Mr. Luke has found me some more. He thinks that these are garlic chives, but I think these are onions. They've got actually some pretty big bulbs on the bottom of them. I don't know that I'm going to keep these here permanently, but I did want to get them in the ground. Um, and I can move them and separate the bulbs later. So, uh, I think I'm going to cut these greens down a little bit and use them in a dish to cook later tonight and then all I have to do is cover this all up with some plastic oh yeah I'm gonna cover the top of that up too so I need to find some plastic and there you have it folks Anne's tiny life makeshift greenhouse those little hoops were given to me by the lovely Miss Doreen and this tarp just came it's not a tarp it's just a piece of plastic that was over something big I don't remember what it was, but it's been laying around in the mud. I did rinse it off a little bit. Yep, it's dirty, but the rain is going to come. And the dirt is mainly on the outside of it, so it'll be just fine. Um, I decided not to cut those onions back just quite yet. I'm just going to leave them see what they do. Yeah, so I just secured it with, well, there's a log there. There's a pot of onions growing, a pot of chives growing. Um, I should probably put something over there. Put a soggy log over there and <laughs> yeah put a brick over here now this garden bed is not ready to be planted it's almost ready it needs one more big layer of soil over the top of it and then I'll be able to plant in it um, so but for right now it's okay I can just set this stuff on top of it and I think that'll work just fine this garden bed <laughs> the chickens have been going through I really need a lot more layering in there because it needs to come at the minimum flush with the top of this and mound it a little bit because this uh, method of gardening, hugel culture, it'll, it'll kind of settle a little bit, the layers will, so I've got to get a lot more in there, but it's not time to plant in the ground anyhow, so yep, this is going to work just lovely. Yep, that right there is inelegant, it's janky, it's plain, it's simple, it doesn't look pristine and polished but if you're coming to this channel looking for you know these beautiful big grand you know builds of things uh you're not gonna find it here nope nope i just work with what i have and just put stuff together the best i can because i don't want to go out and spend a fortune on a greenhouse you know it may look big it may look fancy and fantastic but it it, it just ain't me because i am not going to spend a whole bunch of money on that kind of stuff when something like that will work perfectly fine Anyhow, yeah, so what else? What else? <gasps> Look at that. This right here is the second 300 watt solar panel that the lovely Miss Doreen sent me. I have finally put it into service and it, all by itself, is powering this refrigerator. All I've done to mount it is, and this is really super fantastic and complicated, I stuck some nails in the wood <laughs> and just hung it off of there. Luckily, this panel has these little mounting grommets. And underneath here, yeah, I just found a piece of wood. And I just stuck it in there up against the uh, refrigerator. And it works that way. So what I'd like to do eventually is get a big screw and a, um, a washer or something so that this can swivel and rotate and it'll stay connected because there may be times when I want to bring it up and bring the solar panel angle down a little bit or sometimes I may want to bring this down just a little bit more and get it angled up higher just depending on where the sun is in the sky so yeah there's my my big solar panel build here it is I've had it outside and I haven't had to power it up just because it's been so cold but look, I need a bigger box is what I need because I would like to contain everything, including the inverter um, and the charge controller inside a box um, and keep it from the, the water and elements and whatnot. But this is what I'm doing for right now. Um, not the best way, so this will change eventually, but um, it is charging even though it is not um, very sunny outside. It's charging slowly 
and this has been working this little 700 remember this remember this from before if nothing else runs on this inverter except for this refrigerator then I don't get all the alarms I don't you know get a lot of weirdness with it so yeah this is outside and I figure it's gonna be better outside it's gonna have more ventilation oh lovely um, and it's going to actually be cooler out here on the porch because during the summertime inside that tiny house it gets really really hot and uh, I think it'll actually work better out here but so far it is able to power this refrigerator without any problems and I do wait until after the Sun goes down and then I turn the inverter off and just keep the door to the refrigerator closed and it stays cold all night long so yeah that's another thing I did yay eventually once I get a uh, get a bigger box it'll all be contained inside it it'll look so much better and a day would not be complete without some chicken TV it's a little bit rainy outside what Romeo oh my gosh he's starting to sound like that crazy chicken that had that really wild cockadoodle-boo anyhow it's a little rainy today and I've been keeping them in the yard I just don't want them free ranging right now I just don't um, but they are making good use of this little area I created for them. So that makes me happy. Yeah. But they still get out and peck, on, peck around. They don't seem too bothered by the rain, really, most, most of the time. Sometimes, yes. But they've got options if they want to get out of the rain or if it gets too sunny and they just want to chill out in the shade. I'm very happy with this. Yeah. I need to throw you out some more feed because, not some feed, probably just some scratch because they're not out foraging. So, yeah, I'm going to do that now. Look at these chickens. All I need to do is step down off the porch and they come running for me. They love me. What you doing, Romeo? What you doing, big boy? Hmm? Look at you. Ain't he majestic? Look at his feathers. He's just so pretty. Oh, my chickens are pretty. <laughs> and these hens love Romeo. Yes, they do. Oh, over here, this little uh, dust bath. I'm going to use the soil for that in one of the garden beds. And I'm going to do like Mr. Lucas does. He just clears an area of soil in the corner of his pen and throw some wood ash down there and the chickens do the rest and they just love to dust bank right down in that dirt and I don't know what I'll what I'll do with that little uh, pool but I might you know what I might end up just planting in it who knows we'll just have to wait and see what you doing chickens hmm? <laughs> Papa does seem to be getting a little bit better kind of coming out of that tramadol stupor he was in. Took him outside. He is peeing. I haven't seen him defecate yet, but he's eating. I've made a big pot of chicken and rice, and uh, that's what I'm going to feed him a little bit at a time all day. And so he is eating that, and he's drinking water, and um, he's starting to perk up a little bit. So if I don't need to give him tramadol, I'm not going to give him tramadol. But if he looks like he's in pain, I'm definitely going to give him the gabapentin. Um, it's just, I don't know, you guys. It just kind of worries me how this whole thing is going to go down. And maybe he'll come out of it and he won't be so lethargic. But they did say that's the way that they want these dogs to be for the entire time that they are um, going through the heartworm treatment, but it's just heartbreaking because he usually, I mean, he's a very chill dog, but he, he likes to run around and play and whatnot. So yeah, the people, they've been over there. They have straightened that area out so much. They've been working and, um, it did start raining, but, um, they were, they kept working for about a half an hour, 45 minutes after it started raining. So they know what they're doing. And, they're doing a great job over there. I'm excited to see how they're going to develop that land over there. <sighs> Anyhow, um, you know what, you guys? I think that's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. <laughs>
thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.